Salve mundi, my dear friends, my name is Smart Geek Block. On this sunny day, staying idle due to the quarantine in Boston, I finally decided to film some kind of video. However, I'm still continuing my program and my capstone project will never be created by itself. Moreover, now is the busiest time to work on those assignments due to the deadlines. Because of that, today we're not gonna be airing for too long. Today I'd like to discuss wireless sound on your smartphones. As you may remember from the last podcast, video where I promised to film videos in the both languages, so if you wish to watch this video in Russian, there is a dropping out message in the right upper corner of the screen with the link to Russian version. Let's move on the point. By the time of spring 2020, absolutely no one is gonna be surprised that nowadays Apple AirPods are the most popular wireless headphones in such a compact design due to many many reasons. First reason is that charging case is very compact, its battery lasts very long long, at least 3 to 5 days, sound quality is average, I would even say that in compression with most contestants from other vendors, sound quality is one of the best in the market within this form factor. Furthermore, they are connecting and reconnecting between your Apple devices pretty quickly. But the most important feature why everyone loves Apple AirPods is their form factor. It's so comfortable for long time use. Sometimes you don't even recognize them in your ears, I myself sleep wearing them every night listening to ASMR videos when I fall asleep and I don't feel any discomfort. More to that, they have quite good microphones installed in the right place, which makes them very useful as a wireless headset, even if you leave just one AirPod in your ear, it still works properly. However, I would doubt the statement about the best microphone within the whole market of compact wireless headphones. Uh, I still can't understand what's with the sound and how it's working with the AirPods. Many people said that AirPods mic is fine, but I'm not sure if it's true. Especially after filming the New York Christmas vlog. But for audio calls, this quality is more than enough. Yet within geek and not only geek companies, I've met people who also like AirPods as much as I do. However, by several reasons, they don't want to use iPhone or other Apple devices. They prefer Android and don't want to switch from the familiar system. Going further, many of those people ask a very logical question if they can purchase themselves AirPods having an Android smartphone and use them painlessly with their green robot device. This exact question I'll be trying to answer today. Let's roll! Firstly, I'd like to notice that my own AirPods are the most ordinary, the oldest first generation, because I don't use the wireless charger. I also have an Android smartphone, not new, but happily this factor won't be able to affect our today's video. Actually, it started working much faster after I restored it on the stock Android 8.1 ROM. Of course, I couldn't resist the temptation to continue using rooted version of the system and custom kernel made by Franco, where I could manually customize the CPU and GPU governors. However, I got rid of most of the bloatware, which was consuming a lot of free space on my device. Because of the fact that here in the US I'm using a SIM card only on the iPhone, because cellular plans are completely overpriced, comparing to what we have in Moscow, where I could pay $50-$60 for 3 SIM cards every month instead of 1. According to that, this phone is laying on the shelf in my room most of the times and mostly is used only for watching YouTube during the night time or some old games like GTA Vice City or Flappy Bird, which are not available or not optimized for iPhone 10. Because of all those reasons, I deleted many heavy navigation services from this phone, especially the ones which I used used back in Russia like Yandex Maps due to the lack of need. And after I gained plus 10% to free space on my phone, it started working much faster than before, which to be honestly said made me very delighted. So I think that's enough water for now, let's move on to the main point. When you begin pairing your AirPods with your Android device, unfortunately you won't be able to see that beautiful Bluetooth pair animation while opening charging case of your headphones, which you always see on any iDevice, like you see it right now on the screen screen of my iPad. That happens because in the source code of the Android system there is completely no support of W1 chip, 
which is actually controlling all the smart features of the AirPods, including this animation. Due to that, you'll have to pair the headphones manually. For this, you go to the Bluetooth settings, tap pair new device, then on the open case of your headphones, press and hold the button on the back side of your case. The required device shall show up in the list of available Bluetooth devices on your smartphone. Tap on the device and as you can see, everything is connected. Now we could finally listen to some music. For that, let's open Google Play music cloud app where I've uploaded all my music library from my Mac. Happily, we have a strong Wi-Fi signal here. Let's play some track, let it be said and done from the last Bad Omens album, Finding God Before God Finds Me, and enjoy some VHQ sound quality with the most comfortable form factor. By the way, I had a very lucky opportunity to attend the live show of this band here in Boston at the 8th of March, right before the beginning of this quarantine shit show, and that's how it was. But this is all a little bit off topic, coming back onto the headphones, I think that most of my viewers would like to know if all the smart features that were presented in the AirPods on Apple devices are available when using those with the OS from Google. The answer is yes and no. As I learned by myself, adaptive microphone switching on call and automatic music pausing, as all other features of W1 chip, are unavailable. This means that during voice and video calls, microphone won't be switching automatically on the AirPod, which is recognizing the sound better at the exact moment, as the music also won't be paused automatically when you're taking out one headphone from your ear. The microphone itself works properly during the phone calls and video recording, if if you are using custom software like Filmic Pro where you are allowed to choose which mic will be used to record the sound, however, sometimes in this exact usage case, in this exact app, the microphone stops working at all and later won't respond to any of your actions until you reconnect the headphones to your smartphone, which could be done by putting AirPods back in the case and re-wearing them again in your ears. Speaking about the touch panel gestures on the rear side of the headphones, all of them work properly. For example, I have it set up for changing the tracks forwards or backwards and, as we can see, it works and tracks are being changed, at least in Google Play Music. However, the treason came from an unexpected place this time. From the standard interface of the Android device, you won't be able to customize those gestures in any way. As you can see, in the BT device settings you can only disconnect or forget the device, allow headphones usage as a headset or speaker and some bonus features which is surprisingly only available on the Android HD audio via Bluetooth. In this case, it's recommended to use native Apple's AAC codec, as I know, iPhones and iPads of the last generation don't support Bluetooth HD audio at all. So let it be some kind of an easter egg for the people who decide to buy AirPods for the use with their Android devices. Yet we can't see any signs of the touch panel customization preferences in those settings. And as the default settings for those touch panel is Siri on both of the headphones, which is of course absent on the Android, in the Google system you will only be allowed to use play pause on both of the headphones. In order to customize the touch panel, you will have to possess some kind of iOS device. However, I wouldn't have been Smart Geek Block if I hadn't searched for some third-party control center on Google Play. The most interesting part is that I've actually found it. This app came out to be very useful to set up your AirPods pods on your Android, it can even create the charging state animation like on iOS, there you can customize all the UI parts of this animation. More to that, if you purchase a Pro version for $399, I'm not sure about the price because I don't have an American Google Play account, you'll be able to customize the touch panel as you like. Here, as I noticed, there are even more options than on the stock iOS menu. Also, with Pro, you'll be able to turn on the smart pause, which automatically stops music when one headphone is disconnected, and automatic ear detection, which allows you to switch the microphones automatically between the ears. So, 
answering the main question, yes, you can use AirPods on Android without any feature limitations. Another question is, do you really need all those features and are you ready to pay $399 for them? This question everyone will answer for themselves, I'll just leave the Google Play link to this app below, in the description section. Still, this app works quite properly, I didn't notice any glitches, on the other hand, I don't really understand how it's gonna affect the battery life of your Android device. In spite of the fact that it's updating AirPods charge state very frequently in the background and showing this data in the notification center. Speaking of me, I will prefer not to buy the Pro because I have iPhone and iPad where I can make required customizations from and if you also have an iPad in addition to your Android smartphone, you can also do all the settings there. And after that, just connect your AirPods with all customizations applied to your Android smartphone. Lastly, I'd like to notice another bonus feature available only on the Android. As we know, the first generation of AirPods was unable to answer Hey Siri voice commands in hands-free mode because of the battery consumption limitations. However, if on the Android you set up the Google Assistant for use in the hands-free mode, okay Google, it will be available even with the first generation AirPods connected without the necessity of touch panel use. But because the first gen doesn't have the always on microphones in the low energy mode, this bonus feature will probably affect the battery life of your headphones dramatically. In conclusion, I'd like to contribute that AirPods user experience in the tandem with Android is not much different from the user experience on the iPhone. Sound quality while playing media or voice calls is no worse, so if you use the smartphone with the OS from Google and are scared that they won't be working properly on your platform, don't worry, all the main functions are operational, and if you need some additional customizations, you still could download a third-party control center, which I've shown you today. Or if you also possess an iPad, you could set everything up from there. Summarizing all I said before, I can highly recommend purchasing AirPods even if you use an Android as your main device. That's enough for today, thanks for watching, if this video was useful for you and motivated you to buy AirPods for use with your Android device, write about this in the comment section. Also, don't forget to hit the like button, they make me feel much warmer on the inside these hard days. Next video I'll tell you how to make your self-distancing quarantine days a little bit more delightful just with an Android phone, a DualShock controller from PS4 and several simple manipulations, after which you will be able to dive into the nostalgic world of games from the most popular handheld console of all times. So subscribe to both of my channels, not to miss all the geeky delicious stuff, Smart Geek Blog and Smart Geek Live at your service, follow me on Twitter where I post some news and humor, watch my Instagram where currently I'm releasing the most beautiful pictures from my New York December trip, share this video to everyone who is interested in buying themselves AirPods for Android or not, thank you for watching Smart Geek Blog channel, until we meet again, vale.